Hey, what's up, y'all? Welcome to Snatch Chat, where I'm here to help you lose fat, but not your mind. I'm Tiffany, certified personal trainer, nutrition specialist, and your body snatcher. And today I'm going to be sharing some food recommendations with you. Okay, so every month in my Snatch Session subscription and coaching membership, I share a list called the T10 for Tiffany's 10, basically, where I share different products for my clients that I think will help them. And it ranges from food to, you know, workout equipment, to fun stuff, to books, all kinds of things. But um, I thought I would give you a little bit of the food stuff today. So these are going to be three things that I have included on my list. Okay. So definitely, definitely stick around for that. Um, I'm going to let you know what you know, they are, how I feel about them, the reason they're on the list, and how I implement them in my everyday fitness life, okay? So before we get into that though, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Definitely press the like button if you find this useful and also make sure to go and get your free workouts. So I put a link there, you'll get access to workouts, some mentality, some nutrition stuff. So it's like a whole little sampling of different things. So definitely, definitely make sure you get that. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and get right into it. Um, let's do it. So the first thing I'm going to show you is my protein power. So this is uh, Amazon Elements. Um, I use this one, uh, my fiance and I, we both indulge in this. He makes delicious, delicious protein shakes, okay? <laughs> so that is the main thing I will say about this, but I'm going to tell you why we use this one. So a lot of times people will ask, you know, should I get a plant-based, should I get, you know, whey protein, you know, and there's so much battle and debate over what kind of protein you need. And I did do another video on protein uh, recommendations in general. So I will actually link that one so you can look at that below. Um, I didn't include this because I was talking about bars in general, but uh, this is good because first of all, the main reason we have this one is it is cholesterol free. So when we're dealing with food, Everything isn't about calories, even though I do preach that calories is a definitely, definitely a big deal. It's not always about calories. We always want to go with things for optimal health, right? So the main reason we even started using this one was because it has no cholesterol. So that's the main thing. And believe it or not, that is really the determining factor for us using this one and the fact that it's pretty affordable and it has good ingredients. But also the actual protein level is really good. So there's 25 grams of protein. Okay, Miss Doe came to say hello to you all. Um, can I do the video? Can I do the video? She's coming to thank me for the tuna that I gave her, which was supposed to lure her away from ruining my YouTube video. But we do it raw here, right? So everything is raw. <laughs> All right. So anyways, so this one has 25 grams of protein for each serving as well. So if you've heard any of my recommendations for working out and after workout protein, I always recommend at least 15 and 20 or 20 to 25 as an ideal. So with this one, you're getting that easily. Okay. Um, it's 25 grams for just one scoop. Uh, oftentimes what you'll find is that a lot of proteins, you have to actually do like two scoops just to get the same amount of protein. And then what that means is that the calories start adding up. So there's only 110 calories in one scoop of this and 25 grams of protein. So you're really, really maximizing the effectiveness of getting a good protein in, you know, without like using a ton of calories um, and going over. Uh, also, some proteins in my opinion are too much protein because what a lot of times is not said is that most Americans do not have a problem getting protein in. That is not an issue. Okay, so uh, it's more so about the timing of your protein. So uh, you don't really need like things with like 50 grams of protein and all of that. So unless you really don't eat it throughout the day, but most Americans do eat a lot of protein automatically. Okay, so this is my first uh, one for the day. This is the Amazon Elements grass-fed 100% whey protein isolate. 
And I will also say with the grass fed thing, you know, that's more of an ethical thing. Um, there are arguments that is definitely, definitely healthier for you, and I'm all for it. I believe that the more natural you can go, the better. But, you know, natural is a little harder for some people, and with some things, I don't, you know, target it as much. So, while this grass-fed feature is great, um, it's not the determining factor for me. It's more so the actual protein level, the, you know, amount of calories, and the fact that it doesn't have any cholesterol, okay? So that was the first recommendation. Now I'm gonna get my food. Missy is over here in my way. So my second recommendation is going to be Oikos Triple Zero. Okay, this is my jam, okay? <laughs> yeah, not a jam, it's actually yogurt, but it is my jam, okay? This I eat pretty much every day, and I will tell you why now. <laughs> so, first of all, this has 15 grams of protein in it, okay? In this little, little container, which is quite amazing. Uh, it's really, it already meets the barrier of the 15 grams of protein that I recommend for workouts, but it's also only 100 calories, okay? So, you know, we're in a, we're kind of in the protein, you know, realm of the powder, but this is an actual snack all by itself, right? So with the protein powder, you're gonna mix it with something. So we use that for our fruits and our vegetables to make really delicious smoothies and to get optimal protein. This is going to be less, but it's a great snack. Um, also, I use this as one of my sweet hacks. So. This is very, very good taste-wise. Um, Greek yogurt is the way to go if you are gonna do yogurt, by the way. Um, it is pretty much the only yogurt that's gonna have a really substantial amount of protein in it, and that is definitely what you want. You'll find a lot of the brands have like filler, you know, ingredients, and you'll look at the protein and it'll be like four, three, you know, and they're really just focusing on the sugar and putting stuff into the yogurt. Uh, you want a substantive, substantive? <laughs> That's the right word. Anyway, you want a, a yogurt that is going to su supply you with some actual substance, right? So I love this. Um, I use it as dessert. I mix it with things. So one of my favorite and pretty much the way I eat it most of the time is that I take it and I put granola in it. Okay, so I love granola. Granola is one of those things you have to be very careful because it does have quite a few calories in it. So I do use my food scale and I actually measure it out. But I'll put walnuts, another one. Nuts you have to be careful of with calories because they add up super, super fast. But I will make this a multi-layered kind of snack. So I'll have the yogurt with granola and with walnuts. When cherries are in season, I will throw some cherries in there. I'll throw some other fruits. I will play with it any way I can. But this is one of my super, super go-tos. It is just late at night it's good you know even with all of that stuff in it it's going to be 300 calories or less um, and that just depends on how crazy I go with the granola and stuff so this is another one on my t10 list one of my faves uh, this is Oikos triple zero okay um, I'll list everything everything's not gonna have a link obviously because this is stuff you have to get at the grocery store <laughs> so the t10 list is not just like all, just stuff online, clearly. It's just my recommendations and things that I really believe in and use. So I never recommend anything that I don't use myself or I haven't had clients use with success, okay? So that's number two. The last one is a game changer, okay? So for cooking, Olivia, okay? So this is a butter substitute. And first I will say this, okay? This will not substitute for butter on every single thing, okay? If it is like a baking thing or a cake or something that actually utilizes and needs actual, you know, clumps of butter, I will recommend that you use margarine or a low-fat butter, but it's not going to be, you know, this is not going to work. <laughs> Just put that. However, this is amazing for general purposes. So using it for like toast, 
even some baking recipes. So some fish recipes. Um, I just made a recipe that I have. I also do recipes in snack sessions. I'm not trying to be like a <laughs> advertising board right now, but I do do them. So I always, I release uh, uh, recipes every month. And one of the recipes that I have on there is a, you know, kind of like Cajun kind of fish, but it's called buttery fish, like a non guilty kind of buttery fish. And I use this on it instead of real butter. And let me tell you that fish is so good. I just remade it with whiting. Um, the original recipe is with perch, but I made it with whiting just this week and it is bomb.com and this butter substitutes very well. And do you know how many calories is in this? Zero, <laughs> zero calories, zero fat, only 15 milligrams of sodium, which is not really, you know, like, I mean, that's like nothing. Okay. Nothing. Okay. You're not going to get any like substance with it, but you're not getting any bad stuff with this. And if you think about how much butter has in it, as far as calories, fat, and all of that, and just the fact that it's really bad for your heart and all of the, and everything else in between, it really just makes sense to have something that you can substitute some of the time. So uh, even if you can't use this all the time, you can use it most of the time, um, and mostly for things that we eat on an everyday basis. So when I you know spray vegetables with butter, we use this. Like I said, with toast, anything that just needs a little sprinkle butter we use this and believe it or not, it actually tastes really good and it's really hard to tell the difference. And this is just like a game changer for your diet, calorie loss and all of that. So this is number three and that is Olivia. So those are my three products. Got Olivia, got the Oikos Greek yogurt. This one is really the good one. Definitely. And you can look at other yogurts as well. Um, just make sure it's Greek yogurt and it has a decent amount of grams of protein in it but this one i really love and i get vanilla just because i like to mix it up and then the last one is the amazon protein okay the protein powder so those are the three your actionable step i guess would be to eat to research these see if anything is something you would want and then the next time you're at the grocery store look out for the different you know non uh well not non butters, but you know, substituted butters. Uh, Olivia is a great one. It's the one we use, but there are a ton of different, uh, variations. My cat is being bad right now. I can hear her. I don't know what she just did, but I'm about to go find her. <laughs> Happy this video is over. Okay. Um, but yes, go to the grocery store and try to compare products and all of that. Tell the people why you're being bad. Tell them. Let them know. They're trying to be done with the video. Anywho, okay, so yes, just try different things. And in general, just try things all the time. Always do some comparison shopping when you're doing your, your grocery shopping and you're looking for different foods to sub out, okay? So that is it for the day. Hope you found some of these recommendations healthy. Uh, if you are in need of guidance on nutrition, uh, you want a real workout plan, you know, you just need some guidance and you're tired of doing super crazy and drastic, you know, measures to try to get the body you want. I do suggest that you look into my snack sessions program. It's all about habit change, lifestyle change, and to do it through mentality and just changing your habits overall. Okay. So Definitely a great program. People are getting wonderful results from it and I will have your back the whole time. So that information is always in the description as well. Okay, so that's it for the day. Hopefully you found it helpful. Like I said, till next time, eat well, drink well, take care of yourself and I will see you next time.